As the country gears up for a green tomorrow, a major place of change is on the road. The world's transportation runs on carbon-rich fossil fuels. Lessening the thirst for fuel comes in many shapes and sizes. Planning cities so people can walk, ride their bikes, and take mass transit is a great start. Loading trucks more efficiently, using only one engine when taxiing planes. Even tacking a sail on cargo ships all reduce carbon dioxide, which from cars, trucks, trains, planes, and ships adds up to about 14% of all the world's CO2. And as more and more fuel is needed across the globe, energy companies have found new and more damaging ways to get oil by processing coal and tar sands. As these former mountains will attest, getting coal is already a dirty business. Turning coal into fuel creates double the carbon of standard fuel. Surface mining the tar sands in Canada is rough on the forests and the water supply. Producing usable oil from tar sands creates 50% more CO2 than producing regular oil. So instead of making dirtier fuels, and until we have cleaner ones, using fuel more efficiently is key. I'm a truck driver. I'm out on the road 10, 11 hours a day, seven days a week. I try to take at least a day off here and there, see the family, stop by the house, see the bills that they're piling up. I run from uh, California all the way to Texas. You run in temperatures between uh, 95 to 110 degrees. And the coldest, four days ago, the temperature was 24 degrees. To run their air conditioners or heaters while they sleep, the truckers have to keep their engines running. We will burn in about one gallon per hour, even if it's during the winter or during the summer. So we idle, I mean, sometimes up to seven to nine to 10 hours. We don't know about the world, but if all long haul truckers in America shut their engines off while they slept, they would reduce CO2 emissions by 11 million tons and save more than 1 billion gallons of fuel a year, which is over one fifth the Department of Defense's fuel usage. <laughs> 